بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the second uh, uh, lesson on this uh, unit the pair work and if you remember the uh, theme of this unit the uh, we're talking about jobs working from 9 to 5 so the, th the whole theme of this unit is the just the word job so this is the word job and work can define this whole unit but before we indulge in our lesson you can open your workbook on page 77 let's answer some questions together so question a here match the job titles with the job description so we have a list of job titles uh, number one zoologist number two race car driver number three screen writer number four social worker number five surgeon and number six the veterinarian and we have a list of job descriptions. This is a special kind of doctor that operates on sick or injured people. So he's a doctor, but he's a special kind of doctor. Number B, this person writes the plots and scripts for TV and films. So someone who writes TV scripts for films. C, this person is involved in the study and care of animals. So C is someone who is involved with animals, with the study of animals, of course. D, this is a doctor for animals. So D is a doctor for animals. Number E, this person drives fast cars in contests. This is an easy one, of course. And last one, F. This is someone who helps people in need, such as the poor or the disabled. Again, F, this is someone who helps people in need, people in need, such as poor people or the, the, the uh, disabled. So number one, zoologist from the word zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? Of course, you know, the zoo has many animals there. So now we know that the uh, zoologist is a profession that is connected to uh, animals. So can you guess which one here? Of course, we have more than one choice that is involved with animals. So you have to be careful. So number one, a zoologist. Yes, that's correct. It's the letter C, the person who is uh, involved in the study and care of animals. So a zoologist is a person who studies animals. Number two, race car driver. From uh, the, uh, the term itself, race car driver, of course, you can guess the definition here. So this is an easy one. Which one is it? Yes, of course, it's the letter E. This person drives fast cars in contest. Of course, fast cars. Number three, screenwriter. Screenwriter. Of course, he doesn't write on the screen itself, but he writes on paper. So what, do, uh, what does a screenwriter do? This is a profession. A screenwriter. He writes something. What is it? Can you guess? Okay, let's see the answer here. Uh, together, it's letter B. This person writes the plots and scripts for TV and film. So a screenwriter, he writes the story, the plot or the script for a, a TV series or even a movie. Number four, social worker. Social worker. Social worker from the, social from the word society. Social worker. So what does a social worker do? Can you guess from here? Yes, that's correct. It's the letter F. This is someone who helps people in need. So a social worker, he looks for the people in need and help them like the poor or the disabled. Uh, number five here, a surgeon. A surgeon. So five and six, surgeon. So number five, a surgeon. It's the letter A. This is a special kind of doctor that operates on sick or injured people. So a surgeon is a doctor, but he is a special kind of a doctor that operates on sick or injured people. Last one, the, veter uh, the veterinarian. Of course, the last one is D. This, uh, D, this is a doctor for 
animals. So five and six both on both are uh, doctors. One who works with animals, the veterinarian, and one is a special kind of doctor that operates on sick or injured people. Next exercise also on the page 77. Read the conversation between a college student and a career advisor. A career advisor, someone who gives you advice regarding what to do in your future. Write the missing words from the box. You can see the words in the box here. Appreciated, entail, income, satisfaction, cooperate, entire, respectful, and the word status. And of course, we have to fill the gaps, the missing word, from the words in this box. So let's read the uh, conversation together here, Mr. Cannon. So, Khalid, what kind of job are you interested in getting after college? Of course, this is the first, uh, uh, the f the first question. He wants to see your interests. What do you want to do in your future? Khalid replied, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's why I'm here. I know I want to have a lot of job. And number one is what? I know I want to have a lot of job so what's the correct word here a lot of job what yes the first one is satisfaction i i know i want to have a lot of job satisfaction so he says here that he wants to be satisfied with his job mr cannon yes well it's important to like your job so when you are satisfied with your job like myself you are happy and you uh, like your job what kind of do you hope to earn to earn the word earn here is the key to the answer to earn to get something so what kind of do you hope to earn so what kind of what yes that's correct what, what kind of income do you hope to earn do you want to have a high income or a low income let's see his answer well I mostly just want to be sure that I have enough money to live on that's correct in the beginning don't focus on the income just focus on the beginning of your career again well I mostly just want to be sure that I have enough money to live on what's more important to me is that I feel and number three is, so what's the mo most important thing to him? That he feels, yes, that's correct, appreciated. That he feels appreciated, that people appreciate and respect him. I need to know that people are grateful for what I do. So, so in his uh, uh, career, in the beginning of his career, he's not focusing on the income. He's focusing on the job itself that is satisfying for him and respectful. Uh, Mr. Cannon, I see. What about working with others? Do any of your classes group work? Again, he's asking him a question here. I see. And what about working with others? Do any of your classes group work? So. Number uh, four here, do any of your classes, that's correct, entail group work or requires group work. So he wants to know how does he, uh, uh, how does he work with other people? Do, does he work well or not? Khaled replied, oh yes, a lot of them do. In fact, my, and number five here, senior seminar grade is based on a group project. So, again, oh yes, a lot of them do. Of course, them here is talking about his uh, classes. In fact, my senior seminar grade is based on group project. So my, that's correct, the word entire. In fact, my entire senior seminar grade is based on a group project. What's the meaning of the word entire here? Yes, that's correct. It means the whole. When you say the entire world, it means the whole world. So my entire senior seminar grade, you can say the whole grade is based on a group project. So continuing here, Mr. Cannon, wow, the whole thing. So whole and entire 
they are they mean the same thing uh, Khalid replied yes or yeah but I don't mind I will with others when I'm in a group so yeah but I don't mind I well with others when I'm in a group so number six is what I will what does he w do well with others yes of course this is an easy one I cooperate I work good I work well with others so I cooperate well with others when I'm in a group we always get along well I try to be when working with other people so in working with other people he tries to be what he says here I try to be when working with other people so can you guess the word here yes I try to be respectful when working with other people Mr. Cannon replied well it's important to be polite and show consideration oh one more thing Khaled replied sure Mr. Cannon what's your current employment and number eight the last one is of course status what's your current employment status or situation what's your current employment status Khaled replied well I have a part-time job at the library Mr. Cannon okay that's great I'm going to have I'm going to have you take a test now that will tell us about what the types of careers might be good for you so he'll be giving him a, a, a tech a, a, an exam a test or maybe a questionnaire just to try to figure out what uh, uh, professions or jobs are suitable for him and Khalid replied that sounds great thanks so of course this is something to be thankful for try to figure out what is suitable for you so and the revision for from the previous uh, the previous lesson the lesson and discuss of course we talked about some here the rewarding jobs and some unsatisfying jobs rewarding like to be a teacher or a policeman or a firefighter or whatever and there's some unsatisfying for like driving a, a, a truck or maybe a cashier and of course this is a matter of perspective and we talked about clues in some uh, articles read the job description and match them with the photos each person is going to tell us a little bit about what their jobs entail can you guess there what their jobs are of course we answered them all and we, we, we were looking for we were looking for clues here of course this one is an engineer of course the clues here were his uh, work in construction and buildings so these are enough clues for us to try to guess that he is an engineer the second one is a race car driver this is an easy one of course he said here he spent a lot of time driving but he never really arrived at a destination so you can tell here that he is a race car driver of course also you can tell from the picture here next one a zoologist a zoologist who uh, the uh, a zoologist who someone who studies the animals he said I'm keen a respectful observer of nature I often spend a lot of time in the lab so he spent a lot of time in the lab that means that he is a scientist and that he observes animals so a scientist and animals so we can try to guess that he is a zoologist next one here is a nurse of course this is an easy one uh, he's responsible for the surgical ward so now we know that he works in a hospital and advise doctors now we know that he works with doctors about patients conditions so this is an easy one the next one is a surgeon the next one is a surgeon he says here I spent a lot of time cutting and sewing this is what a surgeon do to cut and sew the bodies that he uh, operate on but I don't work with fabric the people I work for never see me in work in fact they are often asleep so these are some clues to try to guess that he is a surgeon the next one is an air traffic controller I think this is an easy one also uh, when I'm on night shift I feel that I need to be more alert 
he needs to be alert and keep an eye on screen and he works with screens of course and my instruments at all time uh, he tries to handle pressure well and cooperate with pilots he works with pilots uh, and always been interested in aviation so all of these are clues that he works in air traffic so this is today's lesson the uh, pair work to try to create clues for a job with a partner create your own clues so try to come up with a small article one paragraph of clues about a job again create your own clues for two or three jobs read the clues to your class see if your classmates can guess the job so try to create your own clues just like we what we read uh, previously and uh, your friends will try to guess what what the job is of course i wrote my own um, my own article here i spend a lot of time with pens and paper the people who i work with are young children uh, who also use paper and pens i enjoy what i do and get the satisfaction from educating younger generations so someone who uses the pen and paper and works in education and uh, the people he works with are younger children can you try to guess what this uh, profession is what the job is yes this is an easy one of course it's a teacher of course this is a teacher because he uses uh, uh, he spends a lot of time with pens and paper marking the grades for exams also the students use uh, 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 pens and papers and he works with children and with that we reach the end of this, this lesson see you next lesson inshallah subhanakallah wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum